I am craving corn today. So I've set about do, uh, just to discover a recipe to throw some stuff together like I do that will satisfy that craving but make it very, you know, nutritious and uh, tasteful for my family. So I've got two small onions just uh, browning up here in my pan. And I cooked in my Instant Pot uh, two cups Bismati rice and one cup of this uh, multicolored quinoa, organic. And um, that's in my Instant Pot already done. And then I soaked some of the uh, beef knots that I told you about before. Very similar in makeup to the Butler Soy Curls, but they taste different, they look different. They're made with soy flour instead of the whole bean. And I just made a teriyaki sauce in my soaking liquid. And if you've watched me for a while, you've seen me do that before. And, um, sorry, I'm trying not to burn these while I get everything ready and talk to you. Um, I just put my hot water in my soaking um, to rehydrate those. And then I added balsamic vinegar, soy sauce, and then a little bit of uh, maple syrup with some garlic, and that is just my homemade teriyaki marinade, okay? And I'm gonna walk away just for a second. I've gotta drain this corn. I've got two cans of corn here. And by all means, if you've got frozen, that would taste better, wouldn't it? But I've got canned. We are just, you know, pandemic supplies. We're doing lots of canned stuff. So I'm putting that corn in there with those onions because I need some liquid before that um, cooks just too much. I don't want to burn it or scorch it. But corn is what I was really wanting, so I want the, the bulk of my recipe to be with this corn. Anyway, I will put an affiliate link below to those beef knots if you're interested in those. I, so far, am really, really pleased with those. Um, like I said, the texture is better and the flavor, the natural flavor, before I add anything to it, is just better. And to be honest, I've had this sitting on the counter just absorbing the flavorings and while I've been getting everything ready, I just keep walking by and just grabbing one and eating it. I haven't even heated them up. So they're, they are really flavorful. And they get stuck in my teeth just like beef. <laughs> and if you're wondering about my little cooking utensil, this is called a spurtle. And I saw an infomercial for this, and I just had to have them. So, of course, I found them on Amazon. I'll put a link to a set of these two. Just look at the way it's curved. Nothing gets stuck. I can do um, fried potatoes in this pan without them sticking. And I just love this thing. It comes in a whole set of them, different sizes. So, I've got my corn in there, and I've got uh, onions. And now I'm going to do a can of diced tomatoes. Sorry, I know you can only see my hair on the side here, but I'm opening cans off to the side. So that's diced tomatoes. And as you can see, I am using just my big Dutch oven. And that's because I, when I cook, I like to cook a lot of whatever dish it is so that I can put it in the fridge for as leftovers. Um, my son, 
is working nights and has to, you know, take food in. And so I always pack up in single serving dishes whatever I've cooked and then he can just take it with him to work. So that's why I try to make things in bulk there. Okay, open up my Instant Pot. warm. So that is two cups of basmati rice, one cup of that orga organic quinoa. My family won't eat quinoa by itself. They don't like it, but I do. And I will add it to rice so that they'll get some of the nutrients of it without getting the flavor that they don't really like. And then I added two tablespoons of hemp hearts and I just keep them in a jar here and, and just throw them in and one tablespoon of flaxseed in while I was cooking that so since there's three cups dry I put four cups wet and because quinoa requires eight minutes cooking time my instant pot was set for eight minutes um, natural release and um, turned off that keep warm function. I didn't want it to continue to keep warm. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm just going to add a little bit of this. I'm going to stir it up a bit to fluff it. And then add a little bit here just to bulk up my corn mixture. And then whatever's left of this will go in the fridge for other dishes. And that's probably about one cup of cooked mixture there of, of the rice and quinoa. Then I'm going to put these beef knots in with that soaking liquid. So all that good teriyaki flavor that I made, it's just going to go right in there. And I don't know how much that was, to be honest. I did not measure it. I just filled my bowl and then added the liquid. And I'm just going to heat this all through. And there is some seasoning in with that teriyaki, but I'm going to go ahead and add just a little extra garlic to season all that rice and corn. And that's probably a good two tablespoons there. I'm a garlic fanatic. I can't have too much garlic. Let's add a little bit of paprika too, shall we? Probably about a tablespoon there. And this may be too much spices for you. It may be not enough spices for you. Maybe you don't like these particular flavors, but um, it's kind of got a southwestern flair to it. So that's what I chose. Um, but do what you like. If you don't like those, you could use Italian seasoning. You could use marjoram and tarragon and basil, or basil as we say here in the U.S. Um, do, you do you. I always say that. Don't worry about what recipe I'm doing, because I don't do recipes. Um, I'll show you how to cook. I don't do recipes. <laughs> so there you have it. Let me pull you in. A little bit closer sorry about all the jumbles so you can see it so see it it's kind of got a southwestern flair to it and I'll take a picture on the thumbnail and let you see it in a bowl um, just thought you might enjoy cooking with me today because we haven't done this for a while and 
to be honest, I'm just not cooking all that much. I'm throwing together a bunch of stuff, like I said, putting it in the fridge for everybody is on their own schedule right now. We are on COVID time. Um, uh, we, we get hungry at different times and we feel like eating different things. And I'm kind of, you know, my kids are, are either grown or almost grown. I mean, my daughter's 17, she'll be 18 in March. Um, everybody's doing their own thing. So, um, I, I used to cook at five o'clock and we sat down by six and it was, you eat what I fix. And, and that's just kind of gone out the window. It's just, this is what I felt like eating. So this is what I cooked. You can eat it or you can make your own and I don't care. <laughs> so have a good day guys.